Hey, free to serve. Happy Thursday. Our mission measure that we want to talk about today is serving. How am I meeting the needs of others? Galatians 5, 13 and 14 says, As followers of Christ, we have been set free from bondage and slavery to sin. Verse 13 says, Through love, serve one another. Here's the great commandment. The second greatest, by the way. Love your neighbor as yourself. It's the second greatest commandment. And if we practice the greatest commandment which the Lord Jesus gave us, to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, putting the second greatest commandment into action is much easier. I didn't say easy. I said much easier. Although Scripture, all through Scripture though, God's Word reminds us to look well to the needs of others, not only to our own needs. Now I want to pause here just for a second and say this. Sometimes we misunderstand that when we're looking well to the needs of others, we're belittling ourselves. That's not what the scripture is saying. It's saying you're here, put others way above that. Jesus Christ came himself to seek and to serve that which was lost. I believe one of the greatest acts of servanthood that we have was when Jesus took a bowl, he took a towel, and he washed his disciples' feet. You see, Jesus modeled what servanthood could look like to each one of us. The second greatest act I believe that Jesus performed was the fact that he served his Father's purpose by willingly going to the cross to be a sacrifice for the forgiveness of our sins. You want to tell the world you're a servant of Christ? then serve the world. Serve one another and serve them in love. Not for the title, not for the pay, but to fulfill the measure of our mission. Serve as a life group leader, serve as a greeter, serve as part of the chair crew, serve in this community so that Christ may be known. You see, our mission is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. Fulfill God's mission for Calvary by serving the lost in Havasu and in Parker. God bless you. Will you join me in prayer? Father, thanks that you call each one of us to serve. You gave us a great model. You allowed your son Jesus to come to inhabit a human body and live here on this earth, and we're thankful. He modeled what it means to be a follower. He, he modeled what it means to be a servant. He washed the filthy, nasty, dirty feet of his disciples. So, Father, remind us that we're not above that. Help us to serve all those that we encounter. Maybe it's a smile. Maybe it's a word of encouragement. Maybe it's a hug. Maybe it's just taking time to say, have a great day. God bless you. Amen. Hey, see you this weekend in worship or join us online. God bless you and bye-bye.